Mac is remembered as the scribe who introduced the Latin alphabet to Ireland for the first time. He also wrote the first life of St. Patrick in manuscript form. Fiuk is interesting because he was a bard before he became a Christian. The bards in Ireland were professional poets and musicians, highly trained, and they were revered almost as much as the Druids. Fiuk was apprenticed to the chief bard and Brehen, which means a judge. His name was Dovtach, and he happened to be Fiuk's mother's brother, so he was his uncle, so it was like the business was in the family. When St. Patrick came to Ireland, he asked that he could address the bards and the druids, because he knew how influential they were, and so they would influence the people. It was Dovtach and Fiuk who remained standing out of respect to the newcomer. They were also the first converts to Christianity. And because Fiuk was the younger, he wasn't married, he was ordained by St. Patrick. And it's said that it was Patrick himself who cut off his beard and gave him the tonsure, which was the fashionable haircut of the time. So Fiuk set off to look for the right spot for his monastery. He first went east of the Barrow in Carlo, but 60 of his monks died of a wasting disease. And then after a series of visions and prayers, I suppose, he came here east of the Barrow to County Leash. And this is where he founded his monastery at Schleite which means mountains in the Irish language. Legend has it that Fiuk walked on a pilgrimage from Slaty to the Dune of Clapuch, and there, inside the cave there, he fasted for 40 days and 40 nights as part of the Lenten fast. It can't have done him any harm because he lived to the great age of 105 and he died in 552 AD.